Yo, what is up, Nerdy Squad? So I see everybody's still hollering about the Marvels. Honestly, man, I'm trying to be open-minded about this movie. Um, I know it's been a lot of negativity surrounding Marvel for like the last two, three years now, ever since Avengers Endgame came to an end, no pun intended. But, you know... The bright, smart bright spot, at least for right now, is Loki Season 2, which so far for the past, what, four episodes has been really, really good. I know that's a small nugget compared to all the BS that we've gotten, but that's the thing. Like, some of the stuff works out as a TV show, and some of the stuff works out as a full-on, like, saga in the MCU. This little piece of Loki Season 2 works out as a season where I think the um with well, what I think with um what we just got before this I can't remember what it was exactly with um you know I forgot his name that should have been a full on saga with the scrolls and everything you know what I mean um that should have been a full on saga but what we are getting um hopefully in the future I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic about it, but it's hard when you look at where the MCU is currently at. I don't think it's superhero fatigue that is bothering people. I just think that people are just tired of the BS. I think that um, Marvel really needs to just try to get themselves back on track to trying to figure out what it is they need to do to, you know, right the ship. Because right now the ship is looking really bad. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. They've been sitting pretty high for like the last, you know, over what, 10 years. And it's just been recently going downhill with everything going on with these TV shows. And honestly, I think that they need to drop the TV shows altogether. We don't really need them. Um, I feel like, you know, the movies is is where it's at. I just feel like the TV shows, it's like you don't really need to watch them. You're not going to really miss anything if you miss the TV shows. So I feel like watching the movies is where, you know, people really need to keep their focus at. So I think, in my opinion, Marvel needs to drop the movies. I mean, I'm sorry, keep the movies. Keep the movies, drop the TV shows, and, um, you know, just roll with that. And just, if Kevin Foggy feel like his plate is overloaded, then maybe he needs to, you know, try and separate some of the work between him and some other people. And then maybe they'll come together together. And, like, have a big meeting and talk and kind of see where things are at. But I just feel like maybe he's having burnout or maybe he's just getting the wrong advice. But something's going on with Marvel and it has not been looking good to the fact that fans are, you know, just not excited about the MCU. And um, it's even hard for me to be excited because there's really nothing of interest. And I know people have said, like, oh, if they bring back Tony Stark's if they bring back Chris Evans, um, you know, it'll be it'll get better. But it's like, no, it won't. You know, you can't just bring them back for like a cheap, you know, whatever you want to call it, a thrill or just a cheap a cheap return and then, you know, think it's gonna write everything. It's not. Like the reason everything worked with the first three phases, or maybe four phases, I think it's just three, is because Marvel knew what they were doing and now all of a sudden things ain't just looking so good. So in my opinion, they need to get direction going back again and then um, go from there. But y'all let me know in the comment section what do y'all think about the current direction of Marvel. I'll catch you on the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And also, um, if anybody wants to support my channel, the Cash App link will be down below. Thank you again. I appreciate all of y'all.